Hi everyone, this is Sir Firas from Aristotle Prep and we are looking at question 59 from the OG13 RC chapter. In case you haven't understood this passage properly, please watch the video for question 56 in which I discuss the passage in great detail. So the question says, the pragmatic approach mentioned in lines 37 to 38 of the passage is best defined as one that, if you've forgotten it, go back and read it. Uh, so the pragmatic approach is what? It's basically that what is treated as an American Indian reservation will not be decided by what is the legal word, but how uh, the treatment has been actually given on the ground level. So A says that grants recognition to reservations that were never formally established, but that have traditionally been treated as such. That's the perfect answer. So B says it determines the water rights of all citizens in a particular region by examining the actual history of water usage in that region. But that is not the practical approach. The practical approach is, even though legally something is not the case, it is considered in that way. Even though legally it doesn't have to be. That is the practical approach. So B doesn't talk about that. C says, gives federal courts the right to reserve water along with land even when it is clear that the government originally intended to reserve only the land. No, no, this part is not there in the passage anywhere. What was the original intention? D says, bases the decision to recognize the legal rights of a group on the practical effect such a recognition is likely to have on other citizens. Don't let the practical word confuse you uh, because uh, this is not really uh, anywhere in the passage. Uh, the effect on other citizens. E says, dictates that courts ignore precedents set by such cases as Winters versus US in deciding what water rights belong to reserve land. Absolutely wrong. The court is actually giving heat to these precedents, not ignoring them. So the answer definitely is A.